Probability for risk calculation is just a matter of multiplication. Well, if we can operate on every parameter adequately, creating a risk matrix is just a few clicks away. Let's try together. Hello there, this is Farihat Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Today our discussion is about how to create a risk matrix in Excel. We will create a risk matrix with certainty and their impacts set diagonally and eventually a likewise matrix. For this we are using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. To create a risk matrix, first we need to add titles as the cases, whereas we will add our possibilities or the level of certainties in cell range C4 to G4. Let's type them as unlikely, rare, possible, likely, finally certain. This list can be in column as well. Now, an incident may have severe disastrous consequences on the business market. Magnitudes that events can cause or the impacts will be in cell range B5 to B9. Let's type them as insignificant, minor, medium, major, and catastrophic. Now, these are our certainties levels. And these are the impact. So let's type both of them. But before that, let's select cell B4 to G9. And from the Home tab, under the Font group, let's choose All Borders. Now these ones will be our title. So using Control key, let's format them all together. From the Font group, make them bold. Increase their font size and use a fill color say this one from the alignment group let's make them center and middle aligned there you go let's increase these rows high to 30. now we can see that this column represents impact and this row represents certainty so let's add two of it before that let's split our cell using more borders and here from the border tab we will choose outline and let's choose this diagonal line Okay, now let's type impact and certainty. Here, select impact and from the home tab under font group, choose this icon for font settings and select subscript and choose certainty in the same way, make it superscript. Let's increase their font size. To 80. It's easier to understand now, right? Now we will assign numbers 1 to 5 for the possibilities of the event. So unlikely will have 1, rare will have 2 and this goes on. We can either manually type it or we can just use fill handle to copy it till cell G5. Now we will assign numbers for the impact. So let's say insignificant has 1, minor has 2 and using the same way, let's use fill handle tool till C9. There we go. Now to create a risk matrix, we need to multiply the rare and minor value for D6. Same goes for each of the cells, say for G8. It will be certain and major values. Now we can either multiply all of them individually using formula one by one or we can use one smart formula and copy it for all the cells. Let's try one in cell D6 equals C6. Let's use function 4 or F4 key to make it absolute. Let's use it three times so that column reference doesn't change but row reference changes as per copied cells multiplied by d5 
let's use F4 key twice and it will get us values so that row references doesn't change but column reference changes as per copy itself. Enter. Now let's copy it till G6 and if we select the cells we can see that C6 doesn't change but the column numbers change accordingly. Now select all of these and use fill handle in this way. So we get multiplied values for all of them. If you select E8 we see that it's multiplying C8 and E5. For this reason we have used our absolute feature accordingly. Now let's say we want to add different colors for different risk levels. Let's select C5 to G9 and give them a yellow fill color. From home tab under the font group, let's choose this one as fill color. Now go to styles group and choose conditional formatting. Go to highlight cell rules and choose greater than. So let's say greater than is 12 and for this condition we will choose light red fill. Okay, there we are. Now for cells that are less than 6, following the same method, let's select 6 and we can custom format as well. Let's go to fill tab and choose this color. Okay. Now we can see less risky cells are colored in green and high risky ones are colored red and the medium risky ones are colored as yellow. Hopefully you can create a risk matrix on your own now. But how will you retrieve values from the matrix for a particular likelihood and impact level? Let's discuss how to retrieve value from a risk matrix in Excel. In B11, let's type certainty. In B12, impact. And in B13, result. Let's select b11 to c13 and from the home tab under font group select all borders now let's click on c11 and from the data tab and data tools group select data validation from the allow drop down menu we can see that data validation is quite featureful which helps us to work with whole number decimal time death etc for now we will work along with list and here make sure to check this box so that we can ignore blanks and we get insert drop down. And here our source will be the certainty ones which is C4 to G4. Okay, so let's select rare and for impact follow the same method. Go to data tab from data tools group, data validation, list and this time the source will be b5 to b9 okay now let's select catastrophic now we want to get what is the result for rare certainty and catastrophic impact for that we will use a formula in c13 let's add the formula with the help of index and match function equals index now our value is from c5 to g9 so this is our array for row number we will use the match function and the lookup value will be impact which is c12 and it will look from the impact row which is b5 to b9 and zero for exact match now for column number for index function let's try match function again this time it will look for certainty value or c11 from the certainty row which is c4 to g4 comma and zero again for exact match closing parenthesis closing parenthesis enter so we can see that rare certainty will have catastrophic impact and the risk matrix is 10 we can see that from our chart is rare catastrophic is 10 as well so it works, right? You can practice this with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create a risk matrix in Excel in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.